Hi guys, my name is Kevin from Econ Estica. We're going to cover today uh, ice formation problem on Econ. The uh, more severe type of ice formation is that the whole fan coil almost turned into a block of ice as you can see on this picture here. And as I lift up this filter, you can see that the uh, ice is uh, breaking away. So, in fact, this is uh, one of the uh, easier problems to solve. This problem arise when the um, when the uh, compressor continues to run even after you have turned off your aircon. So what causes this problem is um, okay. Let's take a look at the PCB board, and um, and this normally happens to what we call a non-inverter aircon. At the uh, PCB board, there are usually three cables, and uh, a common cable will be uh, the brown, blue, and the green. And usually the brown cable is a live wire and the uh, blue cable is a neutral. And uh, the green cable is normally used as an earth wire. But do not be confused when it's used on air conditioners because um, in air conditioners it's usually labeled 1, 2 and 3. And uh, at the condenser it will also be labeled 1, 2 and 3. And as long as you match them, correctly if brown is uh, connected to one then make sure that one on the indoor PCB board and uh, one at the outdoor condensing PCB board so it doesn't matter um, what is the color code but as long as you are an electrical en engineer you know that brown is live but in air conditioning do not assume that brown is live so it's better that you test them out and um, so Let's assume that number one is alive and uh, number three, the, the blue color cable is the neutral. So how a non-inverter aircon works is that the life and neutral supplies the voltage that is necessary to run the aircon, to power the fan, to power the control logic. And um, what we call a cut-in signal is that when the, when the temperature sensors they have after analyzing that uh, okay uh, I need some cold air so for instance if you set the remote control at 25 degrees and the room temperature currently is 26 then obviously the, comp the compressor needs to be running because to bring the temperature to 25 so before it reach 25 degrees Celsius there will be a cut-in signal for non-inverter the cut-in signal will be uh, the uh, voltage as uh, supplied by your grid line. So in Singapore, that'd be uh, 230 volts. So what, what it does is that in this circuit board, there is a magnetic switch that closes and then it supplies the voltage of the 230 across here and providing a positive 230 volts to the condenser. And over at the condenser, the um, cut-in signal will be used to fit on a device which we call a magnetic switch. So this 230 volts comes in, it activates an electromagnet, closes the switch and, um, and that supplies the, once the switch is closed, it supplies the voltage to run the compressor. So when this fella has, when your room aircon has achieved the, achieved the desired temperature or you have turned it off using a remote controller, then of course the system shut down and uh, most importantly is that it breaks the circuit breaker and stops sending a 230 volt across uh, the uh, what we call a cut-in line. So in the absence of a cut-in signal, this magnetic switch opens and uh, cuts out the compressor. So the most common problem is that this device, the magnetic switch, actually jams in place. So when this jams, despite you turning off the aircon and thereby not supplying a cut-in signal, the, uh, the compressor will continuously be running. So since the aircon blower is not running, it's not discharging the uh, cold air, and uh, the situation can be so bad that it turns into a block of ice. So that being the case, what you need to do is that once you've confirmed that, the, um, that the, it is a magnetic switch problem, which is quite easy to detect because uh, by the way, this is a telemechanic magnetic switch. Uh, there is a lever here, 
you, I don't think you can see much from this picture, but it's uh, a zero and one, which tells you which is the on position, the magnetized position, versus one that is uh, demagnetized. So once it is cut in, you can find that this this lever moves, and you can even use a test pen or any device to try to push to see whether this thing works or not. If it's jam, it's easy to tell. Quickly replace this device and it works. And whereas some is not as straightforward is that this magnetic switch is inbuilt into a PCB board. So if you know how to replace the PCB board by desoldering and uh, soldering on a new one, of course you can do that. Or otherwise the PCB board needs to be replaced. So um, the uh, a gem magnetic contactor is the uh, single most, the most common type of problem that causes this enormous ice build up. The other less common problem is that, as we have mentioned, right, when you whenever you turn off your aircon or when you whenever you turn off your aircon, there should not be a cut-in signal. But if the PCB board is faulty, because inside this PCB board there is also a relay switch, and if this relay switch is jammed, then obviously is that when you turn off the aircon. The, uh, it is still sending a positive 230 volts which then closes the magnetic switch and thereby causing all the uh, problem of the icing problem and a third uh, problem is that okay these two cable along along the way somehow um, the cable is damaged and and it causes a voltage leak from this 230 live and uh, transferring onto this uh, cut-in signal so meaning to say the uh, the cut-in signal is not coming from the PCB board but in between the wires it's easy to troubleshoot this is that normally what we do is that we will remove the cable from this uh, this connector and then you measure if there is a voltage from here if there is no voltage and then there is still voltage along the wire then what it real what it means is that the wire must have internally shorted out this could be a re this could uh, usually be due to wires that is not a continuous line but has been twisted together and uh, subsequently putting an electrical tape to insulate and um, subsequently it got wet and uh, that causes such a problem but there are also other cases where it's a continuous line but uh, due to uh, quality issues with the cable that um, that you can't really tell visually but it's causing some voltage leak between the live and the cutting signal alright so we have just ended the part on the severe ice formation on fan coil we're going to move on to um, a more common type of uh, ice formation on the aircon as you can see on this picture there's uh, ice forming on one to two coil on the fan coil this is uh, due to uh, refrigerant shortage that's because when the gas level drops below certain level the uh, flash temperature is uh, sub-zero and that causes ice to form so this is a really simple problem recharge the gas to the adequate level and you'll see that the ice will slowly disappear and uh, despite this being an easy problem, this is the worst problem you can experience. That's because if you do not um, detect where is it leaking from, then it will slowly run out of gas and you're going to get back to the same problem after some time. So um, do catch up on uh, my video uh, on uh, gas leak, which I will cover in the later section of the um, uh, video tutorial. Uh, thank you once again. My name is Kevin and I'm from Aircon SDK. Bye-bye.